All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here. So in this video, I'm going to give you my impressions of the Resident Evil Village demo that came out last night on PS5 uh, after Capcom premiered their Resident Evil Village showcase, which by the way, I believe could have just been an email or something like that. They could have just sent that to all the publications. It didn't need to necessarily be a showcase. There wasn't enough content in that to be a quote unquote showcase. But nevertheless, I'm going to tell you what I think about the demo. And it's not a long demo. Uh, it's about 10 to 15 minutes, but it gets the job done. I'll say that, right? Um, but first, I feel like I need to backtrack and talk about how I felt about Resident Evil 7, right? So I wasn't a huge fan of Resident Evil 7. There, there were a few things I believe Resident Evil 7 got right, but I believe they got more things wrong. And yes, this could be because I'm more of a, I'm more of a third person type of person. I believe 99% of games will always be better in third person and I'm somewhat of a Resident Evil purist. So I wasn't the biggest fan of the move from third person to first person. So first with Resident Evil 7, you know, with, with in addition to what I already said, I felt like the visuals took like a step back um, they went with a slightly different art style that I didn't like. There were past Resident Evil games that you could say look better than Resident Evil 7. And, you know, I, I thought that was weird. And, and once again, I played on I played on PC. Right. I felt like the gameplay and the combat as a result of going to first person was very like basic and elementary. It was like this. It turned into this paper thin uh, first person shooter with with not many, uh, you know, combat and gameplay mechanics because it moved to first person. And as far as the story goes, I feel like I was never given a reason to care about the character, Ethan Winters. First of all, I had to look up his name because I feel like his character and his story is completely forgettable. There is not much I remember about Resident Evil 7. Now, listen, I have bad memory. <laughs> Everybody, you know, who watches my channel knows that. But when it comes to games that I think are impressive, games I like, even games that just do certain things well, I, I remember story beats and important things like that. I virtually remember almost nothing about Resident Evil 7. I think that game is just extremely forgettable. Like I said, the character is forgettable. We don't, I, don't, I don't feel like we're given any reason to care about him or the story, right? And I feel like the, the game does nothing to push forward the world of Resident Evil as far as like lore or story goes. It doesn't expand the Resident Evil universe to me. It doesn't do anything to add to its predecessors, right? And and it felt like Resident Evil 7 felt like Outlast, except you have a gun. And that's not a knock on Outlast. I love Outlast. I, I think that the game's great for what it is, but that's not what we really expect from Resident Evil 7. Right. If, if I had to describe something less like a perfect horror game, I would probably say like Dead Space 2, because Dead Space 2, I, I like a horror game that's balanced as far as the horror and the action goes. Right. And I felt like Dead Space 2 was right in the middle. Dead Space 1 was a little bit more on the horror side, less action. And I felt like Dead Space 2 was like 50, 50, 50. And I want a horror game to at least be like. 60 40 um in the horror to action ratio at least 60 40 you know also 50 50 i don't want it to be 60 40 um from from action to horror i want it you know i want it to be the opposite way right just a nice old balance that is my is my point right and the one thing i will say and i promise i'm gonna get to talking about resident evil this resident evil 8 demo the one thing i will say that Resident Evil 7 and so far in the Resident Evil 8 demo that they get right is the horror atmosphere. It is undeniable that playing these games are creepy, it's airy, it's disturbing, it's unnerving, and the vibe is just off. Off in a good way. And even though I don't prefer the first person, angle it actually helps the horror atmosphere in these games because you can you can definitely make the argument that the third person 
uh, perspective actually kind of stops Resident Evil games from being completely scary. Because if you can see com all around you, right? If you can see all around you, then it's, it's not really that scary. There might be some jump scares that catch you off guard, some things here and there. But it, 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 it the first person view brings in another, another dimension of scary because you can't see behind you and honestly, you can't really see to your to your uh you can't really see to your left or right either, right? Because this FOV is, is very I, I, and I can't remember if you could adjust the FOV in Resident Evil Seven. Um, I imagine that you I don't know I, I really can't remember, but if they don't allow you to, it, it's very clear the reason why. Because if you could uh you know increase the FOV and you could see more to your left and left and right, then it, you know that takes away a little bit of the of the horror and the, and the scary part of it um which is sight and uh and, and your peripheral vision you take away that things are a little bit more scary so that's one thing I, I i cannot take away from this game is you can absolutely say they lost the horror feeling and the horror atmosphere in the previous third person um uh, resident evil games but they definitely got it back in seven and clearly continuing eight and by the way i don't even recognize resident evil 6 as a game we pretend that doesn't exist that that thing is trash okay um but the other third person resident evil games and the sound design you know so far in this demo is great because along with the you know the atmosphere you got to have the sound design and the sound effects to make the player feel uncomfortable and they definitely do that i mean there, there was parts of this demo where I was walking around and there will be nothing on screen necessarily to scare you, but you start hearing things and it starts making you a little bit jittery. So they, they definitely know what they're doing with the sound design. Um, so we, we learned yesterday that Resident Evil Village is cross-gen and it, and it looks like a cross-gen games. There's, the, you know, there's nothing visually to write home about necessarily. Uh, it, it just looks like a it looks like a a late last gen game early um the early uh current gen game you know none of the vi none of none of the visuals are going to blow you away or win any awards right but the interior uh the interior design of this castle you're in for this demo is impressive just the like the architecture and the craftsmanship of inside this this castle it's it's extremely impressive you got to like take time to actually actually look at it though and i believe in this game you start out in a uh you start out in a village and then you make a way and make your way into this castle so this this demo starts a little bit further uh into the game if i understand correctly and of course they they correctly utilize you know the shadows and the and the lighting you got to get that right in these type of games um that really sets the mood of course there's there's a lot of environmental puzzle solving um because they've uh taken uh a lot of the i guess the direct combat away in 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 these uh first person resident evil games there is going to be combat but it's you know not necessarily uh the focus or a huge part of the game anymore uh, so, th so there's going to be a lot more environmental puzzle solving and, and reading notes notes are actually you know useful in this game and in a lot of games they're just kind of like placed there because it's you know it's it's, it's a video game you got to have notes or, or 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 audio tapes but no you actually have to like read the notes in this game to kind of figure out or or know what to do uh even more so in past uh more so in this game than the past resident evil games um yeah those notes are important because because they are hints right so you know, it's the formula of you got to read this note. Uh, there's a key somewhere. Uh, you got to find this item to unlock this door. So there's going to be a, a lot, a lot more of that and, and less probably uh, direct combat with enemies. Um, and if I'm understanding the story correctly, and I'm, I'm so far, I'm not thrilled about the story of this game either. And in, in Resident Evil 7, the story was that Ethan Winters is trying to find his kidnapped girlfriend. I believe that was it, right? Now in this story, he's trying to find his kidna kidnapped daughter. Th this dude is pretty much the Mario of the Resident Evil world. Why is everybody 
you 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 come in contact with like always getting kidnapped or always getting lost especially in these random places with with vampire women and 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 some creepy cannibalistic family like what is up with you bro like and and yeah you can make the case about like other games like that in the uh in the resident evil lineage right like how uh ashley and well, well t- uh, no I, th- I think i think ashley being kidnapped because she's the president's daughter makes uh more sense but like this uh apologize about that but this dude who seems who seemingly just your average nobody his family keeps getting uh kidnapped like why bro why and that's why i'm saying like i feel like we need to know more about ethan winters like i just feel like we haven't been told enough about him and a lot of things haven't been explained maybe maybe we'll we will learn more about him in this game but it seems to me that Ethan Winters, this character you play as, is more of just a a vehicle for the experience. He's not, he's him himself is not important, it seems. The experience of what the player goes through as him seems to be experienced. He's just a vehicle. You could replace him with any generic character and Resident Evil 7 and 8 would work. So him himself is like very unimportant and irrelevant. That's what it at least seems like to me. But I do like I do like the demo. Um, like I said, it, it's it's they are heavily relying on the on the horror atmosphere, and that's fun. I, I like how it makes me feel uncomfortable. Uh, like I said, it has this airy vibe, and yeah, uh, I mean this is the direction that they're going with with the Resident Evil series for the foreseeable future. Um, I guess nine would also be first person. I, I just wish they would improve, you know, the, the, the dimension and the aspect of combat a, a little bit. Um, and, and by the way, playing, I don't know, I felt like a, I felt like a little bit of like input delay playing this. I don't know if anybody else felt that. I don't know. I've, I've been playing a lot of games on, uh, mouse and keyboard a lot of uh high reaction twitch you know type of games on on mouse and keyboard i haven't been playing a lot of games on con- on console lately so using a controller uh sometimes feels like delayed or a little bit slow so maybe that was only me that noticed that maybe that's just in my mind because of the type of games i've been playing lately on mouse and keyboard and everything like that so it just you know it just felt a little bit slow to react when i moved the camera and everything like that um so yeah, um, I gotta see it when we get the actual full game, uh, how they improve the combat and, and the gameplay over seven, um, if they do a better job with the story and uh, the characters, uh, individual story, not just you know the experience he, he goes through. I gotta see if they improve on those things. But the, but the horror aspect, like I said, that's the main thing they get right. So let me know what y'all think um, about this demo. If you played it, please hit the like button to support the video and the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I live stream. Uh, consider becoming a channel member by hitting the join button below the video and follow me on Twitter. All right. Everything is in the description. I will catch y'all on the next video. Let me know what y'all think about this demo. All right. Peace. I won't last until dinner. So we finally meet. <laughs>